Bob Wonderful Weekly here that we have going on. I'm just setting up the lobby really quickly for the first um for the first match. Ugh, gosh. So yeah, I'm just gonna message the players. There we go. I'm so extremely gross and sweaty. So just as a warning to everybody. Because, oh my goodness, it is hot and humid here in Pennsylvania. If you do not know. Whew. Completely unbearable today, legitimately. So let's see, we're gonna have Alex95, who is a Terry main, and Just the Ice, who is that coveted Wi-Fi Zelda? Just the Ice, nasty. I've seen him play before, uh, both here and other places, other streams. Um, and then, I mean, I know Alex95 is uh, gonna have a nasty Terry, just haven't seen him yet. Although he did say that Last week's champion, OG Mustang, is better than him. Beat him in a first to ten. So, first to ten or best to ten. I forget. But. But, I mean, still, you know, pretty, pretty damn good. So, um, what we have going on here is after this first match, then it'll be uh, MK Big Boss, who is a Rob yet again. <laughs> a Rob. Hey, there's Alex95. Very nice. Yeah, uh, yet again, another Rob in top eight that we got rolling in, which is pretty sick. And then uh, the previously mentioned OG Mustang playing Smash Oracle, who looks like a Ness. So, um, MK Big Boss is going to be going up against one of them. Down in Losers, so far we only have one qualifier, that is Puzzle, who's a DDD. Everything else is really far behind. The other one, there is Midi, a extremely well-renowned Wi-Fi player. Uh, currently tied 1-1 with our very own Peacock, if you remember, two weeks ago. The the Kirby Ditto Grand Finals, even though it was only Kirby Ditto for one round. And then it got switched, but hey. What are you going to do? Hey, there's ice. I should probably put that back up, huh? Might be a good idea. Down, 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 down. We actually just ready to go. Oh, shit. I didn't change the uh, players' names. So hold on. Give me a second to do that right now. But we're going to have Alex95. And just the ice. So yeah, this is only best of three. That's changed for this week. Only losers' finals, winners' finals, and grand finals are going to be uh best of five from now on in the hopes of uh making things run a lot faster like i said two extremely well-versed wi-fi players here Ugh, just trying to um get the names on here sorry about that everybody both of them are playing an incredibly close match so far obviously alex 95 now with the go sauce always going to be a problem i'm so happy oh that buster wolf is that i'm so happy that just the ice is here so i could see some peak wi-fi zelda got a pretty notorious uh wi-fi zelda And, you know, just very nasty. So, SNR is the prefix. Sorry about that. Uh, that's gonna be too long anyway. Sorry, just the ice. That's what your name is gonna have to be. But now, we are there. And now I can actually focus on commentating match 7244 in the favor of Alex95. Um, 
like I said, I is very well known in the Wi-Fi circuit. Uh, if you're at least maybe just to me, because I'm insane and I watch way too much Wi-Fi. But a very solid player. You see a lot of night pressure. You're you're gonna be seeing that plenty. Crack shoot there. A good up B from Terry to put on 37% really early in the final stock. Uh, there we go. Killing Terry right there. That is how you were going to win this set. Because if you let him get on you with that go sauce, it's just you're inviting danger. And look at this ice turning it around now, spacing Terry out. Until that Buster Wolf hit was using Knight extremely well. That was an awesome parry. Anytime someone parries on Wi-Fi, I assume they're a god or they didn't mean to. So with Ice, we'll go with god for now. We'll give him credit. An extremely even game here. And that's going to be a power dunk that hits off the top, so... She's going to be fine since it didn't spike. Power dunk. And they're holding shield for quite a while there at center stage, probably just trying to come up with a game plan of how I want to go about it. Not going to be allowed to execute that game plan as another power dunk off the side of the stage. And that is going to be game one for Alex95. And we just hopping right back into it. Yep, hopping right back into it. Pokemon Stadium 2, looks like. Yep. Uh, back in the saddle again at PS2. A classic. And now we will see if Ice is going to be able to respond. Fell behind in the last game, but was able to bring it back. And uh, at the end there, was extremely close the whole way through. Oh, my Twitch activity feed is broken. That's awesome. Oof. Wow. Catching with Buster Wolf falling is not easy and as you see ice is taking time to collect himself here after that that was kind of crazy this is the power dunk and now i wonder how much of a campy terry we're gonna get because he can he can camp you out a little bit and now with the ghost sauce but excellent usage there of the Zelda specials to get Terry off. Not letting him use the Ghost Sauce at all. Once again, even if just the ice drops this set, he did what you were supposed to do against a Terry. You have to kill him before 100%. That is necessary, and that game plan has been executing. Something to hang your hat on. But he's not trying to hang hats. He's trying to advance here. Down 13%. That'll increase, but falls out of the end of power dunk. Gonna be saving him here. Tries a crack shoot to get behind. Knight, and now here's the go sauce. Hasn't been able to use it yet the entire set. And there, gets punished for being too eager on it. And now, Ice has the stock lead. See how much extra credit he's gonna be able to get here and tack on before the next before it drops to his final stock. 141 as Zelda. And that's going to be a dead Zelda. Pretty much completely even here. Terry with 3% on him. If we're, uh, if, if we're talking realistically. But 38 to 6 now. Getting, getting closer. <laughs> now 
Nice crack shoot. That's going to more than even it up. 62-52 now. Both of them getting into dangerous territory, but one big string could mean the end. And Ice needs this to keep this winner set alive for himself and prevent a fall to losers. There's that power dunk again. Power dunk on the edge. Been such a dangerous tool for Alex95 here already. And that's a power dunk. And that is going to kill again. Again, and Alex95 is going to be moving on to winner's finals. Alrighty. Now, unfortunately, see ya, Alex and see ya, Ice. Thanks for coming here. Alex moves on to winner's finals. Just the Ice is going to drop into loser's quarters. And right now, I am going to see... Could probably stand a turn face cam back on, huh? I'm gonna say, and then do not know who is next because unfortunately, every other we've had three other people qualify, and all of them are in the different matches. So, right now, there's no match that's ready to be played. Isn't that just sick? Isn't that just awesome? Hopefully be able to uh, get one going here before the room shuts down. Okay, so they're at 1 -0. Please tell me they're on. Okay, so, all right, Mustang just won. So now it is going to be Mustang versus MK Big Boss. Game two. But how's everybody's nights going? I hope everybody is doing well. As stuff continues to be awful out there. Hopefully, you can come inside, sit down, and watch an extremely mediocre Smash commentator cast some hype sets. Because the sets will be hype. My commentary, not going to be able to give any press. It. Yes, Peacock. All of Top 8 is streamed. We're doing all of top eight, but this week, um, every th everything's best of three except losers final, winners final, grand final. So it's gonna go much faster, because I liked having the best of five thing, but for this type of tournament, it's really unnecessary. I might even cut it down further. I'm gonna ask the players in the Discord next uh, throughout the next week to see if you guys want to move to just grands being best of five, so it's special, or if you're okay with the three finals. MK Big Boss isn't in the Discord server. I forgot. Just waiting on that. Uh, so while we're waiting on them, let's change the Gangplank Galleon. And yes, I've timed it. It actually is optimal to go uh, to the top to cycle the list to the bottom to get up to Gangplank Galleon. Because that's what I do with my fucking life. Alright, Mustang and MK Big Boss have both checked in, so they'll be here any second. And then... Yeah, so far only one person qualified who came out of nowhere. Puzzle in, um... Losers top eight has never competed here and didn't come in with a uh, with a track record as I like to call it. Cause Smash GG will um, tell you if somebody has recent good placements in online tournaments and it will automatically seed them high for you. Of course, you can change it and it also tells you uh, if they've been officially ranked anywhere. 
So let's see who's down here. Puzzle. Whoever Puzzle is playing, that is still two matches behind because of how long stuff up there took. And then Peacock will be playing the winner of Smash Oracle, who just lost to Mustang, and Midnight. Um, Midnight, first ever champion here. Last week came in fourth, I believe. Cloud main, but also plays Palu. Super solid. Peacock plays the nastiest Kobe this side of the Mississippi. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see more of that. They should be hopping in here any second now. Luckily, regular bracket is wrapped up. Regular bracket took longer than I thought it would because of other circumstances like um a lot of matches just happened late and stuff got out of order so that's why like we just got our other our final winners finalist in right now so hopefully we will be able to if that if those types of issues don't happen in the future then pool play is going to be a lot smoother and then could be starting finals by 8 30 which would be really nice to actually, because that's when I want to start uh, top eight is 8.30. I would like actually if um, pool play ended neatly before then so we could have a legitimate break. There's Mustang. That Young Link profile picture, even though he plays Terry. What if he played Young Link before Terry? That wouldn't make sense because I assume since he plays Terry, he used to play Ryu and Ken. That's kind of how that works, but I guess that's not necessarily true. I need to open my mind. My small, small Cro-Magnon brain needs to, needs to expand. Get in here, big boss. Everybody remember to drink water. Oh, I just realized the bracket command hasn't been updated. Teehee, let's go ahead and update that real quick. <laughs> People get sent to the bracket for free in the last week. There we go. It is now set up properly. Okay, so MK Big Boss, um, what is it? His light got knocked out. So that sucks, and he's being very courteous. And, uh, actually letting me know. I just misspelled courteous very badly. But, um, okay, so... Now Mustang's gonna be moving on. And so now we have Terry Ditto Winners Finals. So that's interesting, but yeah. So uh, MK Big Boss had to drop out because lights went out. That really sucks. Um, hopefully he'll be able to be back to play his losers quarters. Should be considering we're gonna play four matches till then. I always add everybody whenever it is their turn. There's Alex95. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, ready to see some Terry Ditto. Not Alice. What am I doing? Da, da, da. And then, uh, no, this is now winner's finals, so... Winner's finals, and... That's a five. Here we go, Mustang versus Alex, 95. The te- Oh, never mind. Alex95 knows something. <laughs> oh, they're lag testing first. Okay. What are they? Or is this legitimate? No. Oh, they're saying hi to each other. That's right. They play each other a bunch. Maybe that's why Alex won it. Maybe they do Terry Dittos a lot. Could be also that Alex just likes his Ken personally better against Terry because, I mean, you know, the Terry, Ken, and Ryu are the command input characters, but obviously they're not identical. Terry is actually much different than Ken and Ryu. I think the best way to explain it is kind of, um, you know how there's characters like Villager and Isabel, those characters are in the same category, but definitely not cl maybe semi-clones at the best. That's kind of... Terry, Ryu, and Ken, they're just all the input characters, but Terry radically different from Ken. And also now, this Ken up radically on OG Mustaine. Once again, he told me that Mustaine is definitively better than him. Beat him in a best of 10. I, I don't know if it was best of 10 or first of 10. I'm going to say first of 10, so it sounds more impressive. But right now, Alex showing that his Ken might have it. Their Mustang able to get him with 60%. And once again, not to sound like a broken record, but the big thing here, and you know that Alex95 is going to know it, is to get rid of Terry before the go sauce. And wow. That directional air dodge cost him. As now, we are at two stocks to one. Alex95 did have full stock lead before... Terry happened, and now he's at 77, and Terry hit, like, four moves. 92, and he hit, like, five moves. You can see Alex95 good at getting the comeback to the stage, maximizing that, um, suboptimal Ken recovery, I might say. But, uh, like, like I said... Okay, hold on, there's something going on in bracket, so hold on, everybody. But look at this Mustang able to keep that stage, con that stage control, sorry, crack shoot to keep him off. Alex95, very much so on the defensive. And that is going to be game one for Alex95. Look at that. And that is game one for Alex95, but this a best of five being winner's finals. Oh my goodness, it does. I am so sorry. Thank you, Midnight. I'm such a freaking idiot. <laughs> It was because I completely forgot I already had Alex from the previous match typed in, but alright. Here we go, everybody. Alex95 obviously staying with the Ken after the last match win. Now, obviously, Mustang did uh, directional air dodge into SDing, so... Um... Don't know how legitimate the last match is, especially for Alex, since uh, he knows this matchup better than anybody. He's played OG a lot. But, you know, gotta, gotta roll with the punches. Look, not letting Terry land, and there you go. Why did Smash even give that screen? Yeah, there was no way Terry was dying that early. Able to block it. If you could prevent him from the ghost sauce, he wasn't able to get the correct input there. 
You know we wanted it. Wouldn't have killed, but would have done some damage. Ooh, able to shield out of it. Power dunk. Sometimes you don't have to use the ghost sauce all the time. You see right there. And he waited to be able to get into it. You want everything to be best of five? I mean, the thing is, it was just taken really long, and the majority opinion by everybody was that they wanted best of three. I think next week I might change semifinals as well to best of five. But I'm going to ask the players first. See, do a poll in the Discord, see what everybody wants. I was going to say, yeah, it's it's top three right now. I know that was a mistake on my part. I did the finals instead of top four. Yeah, um, um, the, at least that'll get included next week. Oh my goodness, that was disgusting on the part of Alex95. Sorry, we were caught up in discussing the future of the tournament and wasn't discussing the present of the tournament, which was Alex95 sending Terry to hell on his own stage. Man, we gotta talk about how good this King of Fighters stage is. The King of Fighters stage is really good. Now we're done talking about it. Sorry if everybody just heard that cannon blast. I don't know what's going on where I live. But, uh, I'm not dead. So, that's all that matters right now. Snow KO for OG Mustang. And now, trying to tie this up. Alex95 with a heavy percentage lead into this game boat versus Terry. Ooh, he stays in every time that smash KO screen and that doesn't happen. Uh oh, now you're in trouble here. Oh my, if that would have killed, Ken was at 30. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well now now we're now we're putting nuts to butts everybody. There's not much left after this. 122 102 and that's going to be it. Mustang takes game 2 with Buster Wolf. Yeah, Buster Wolf, but still. Yeah, uh EX Buster Wolf is insane. The lateral movement on it, the amount of distance you get to travel, and then the amount of damage that you get to do, is, is, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's not a, not a move that should exist in Smash. Really just isn't a move that should exist in Smash. <laughs> but it does, it's, it's pretty much his whole kit, though, so, it isn't, but that's how Terry players use it. I forgot to tweet out that I'm streaming. Oh, well. Alex95 and OG Mustang 1-1 one, one. winners finals. Let's see here. Everybody remember to drink water. It's getting hot out there. Remember to stay hydrated. And Alex95 once again out to an early lead in this game, but as we saw the last game, a lead versus Terry Bogard means absolutely nothing. Because... Oh, nice. My brother's watching. Very nice. What's up, Andy? Very nice to see. Hopefully you could get some more people rolling in here. I know once you play Midnight, we'll have people watching, because you're always the reason my stream spike. Yeah, all of Top 8's going to be streamed. Midnight. That's I can't wait till you stream, because you always bring all your friends who watch. <laughs> it helps out my viewer count. Oh, guarantee he, that was a misinput, and he did not want to do that. <laughs> and now Buster Wolf has quickly evened this up. And as you can see here, able to power the damage on, but he is at the worst possible percent for a Terry, and he is still taking it to him, showing him that he does not need the Go Sauce. That, showing him that he very much appreciates the Go Sauce, and that he will use it to the full extent that the law allows him, but it is not necessary for him to put some absolute work in here. 
as you've seen. Ugh, just... <laughs> the end lag on those moves just isn't a lot for how powerful they are, and unfortunately, Alex95 kills himself getting that kill, but now we are completely even. I forget who said it last... No, it was like... Oh no, it was last stream. Talking about ter the command input characters. They're like, why the fuck is their jab their best move? And you know what? It's true. Alex95 really taking this third stock here, but you have to kill him now. That's the difficult part. You can't let him get the ghost sauce, or else you have to consider it you're just dead. You can't even let him get a chance. 99-7 again. Grabs the ledge from far down. Pretty much even percents here now. Alex95 had a little bit more of a disadvantage. Oh my goodness, look at that combo. That was awesome. That's the good old can right there, ladies and gentlemen. Input sure you can. And what a good set we have brewing here. Two to one, Alex95. And I'm going to say it for the 5,000th time. They played a first to ten, and OG beat Alex. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But here we go. Yeah, I know they're friends of yours. Midnight. Everybody who's good at my tournaments is all just fr is all just that group of friends from Mexico. <laughs> You guys make these tournaments because you show up here and you're actually uh, that this high caliber of play. And all you guys always show up. It's great. And Mustang now taking it. Immediately. I will have to ask Alex why he went Ken versus, uh, versus Terry. Because it's working. It's very obviously working. As you can see. Just want to ask. There we go. Up B. Off the top. For Mustang. Also, I think this is the first match I've ever streamed where both people, their tag in Smash matches their Smash GG name. And their Discord name. These guys are neat and organized. Thank you. Much appreciated. Easy to keep track of things. Does the stream look like dog ass to anybody else? Or is that just me? Because if it's me, I don't care about my own playback, but it's not looking, like, fantastic. Because I can change the bit rate. Oh, wait. I know what's going wrong. That clicking... ...is the sound of the stream getting better, everybody. The bit rate just went through the damn roof! Now they've got blast internet in this bitch. Oh, I tried to use, uh, I would, I'm just gonna call it Dark Arts, the down B. I know that's not what it's called. Dark Focus? Whatever the name of the move is, Mustang is up my full stock. Trying to push this to a game of, to a best of five. Very important here is the winner, obviously, is gonna move on to Grand Finals. OG, that would be his second trip in two weeks. He might start to bleed my bank account dry at this rate, but there's still a lot of Smash to be played before we get to that point. And Alex is trying to make it a lot of Smash to be played in this match, but right now, going through difficulties. And there he hits the Dark Focus for the first time, but then not even able to convert anything off of it. That's rough. This match is a tough one for Alex95. Oof. I was gonna say, that's most likely not gonna kill. Ken's pretty heavy. But still, there we go. That's a nice KO. Get, hitting him off the platform. Now I'm trying to go with Dark Focus, and there we go. Game 5 it is. Wouldn't have it any other way. For winners finals would not have it any other way look at terry throwing the hat isn't he so cool everybody terry is unironically cool as hell okay 
Health eight should almost be set. Uh, they actually changing stages finally. <laughs> um. Everybody should be here. Uh, hold on. Just need to put something up really quickly in the chat for the next. Alright, game five on Kalos. Big wide open stage for everybody. Walls on the side. This is going to be an interesting one. Definitely a stage that people like. Def I meant pe definitely a stage that the command inputs like. Power Dunk falls out of it. Immediate turnaround Buster Wolf for the stock. trying to battle back from this deficit that he has here once again getting down a stock versus a Terry is so doubly dangerous because now you have to worry about killing him before he can get to his magical percent there we go that is the dark focus confirmed that he has been going for the whole game I'm just gonna call it dark focus don't care if it's actually called that yeah. <laughs> Mustang able to edge guard Alex very well. Once again, Alex able to use the down B of Ken to extend that not so great recovery. Able to actually turn it somewhat decent. It's an extremely good offensive recovery in terms of actually recovering. Um, yeah, it remains to be seen. Another Buster Wolf, and now Alex95 getting into extremely dire territory. Forgot to change the camera back. Damn it, you guys are supposed to remind me when I don't do that. It's your job to do my stream for me, not me. <laughs> Alex95 almost able to get him off the top there. Power Dunk intercepts it. I feel like Power Dunk has insane priority in this game. Crack shoot. Ooh, able to intercept it mid-air. But now has the go sauce. You have to kill him right now and then live a whole other stock. Or Power Geyser could just fuck you. That's also something that could happen. Alex. We feel bad for you. <laughs> oh, the Terry go sauce is just too strong sometimes. That's just much too strong. All right, well now Mustang is on to Grands. We have Midnight here. This is Losers. up and see now is when I need to have this angle back I'm trying to learn this the, the basics of streaming <laughs> um, that is going to be midnight not region I don't need to know where they're from uh, prefix 
just want to make sure I'm not uh, snubbing anybody on that. No. Big Boss, Just the Ice, and Flowers are the only one that have that going. There's Peacock. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Like I said, Peacock has the nastiest Kirby I have ever seen. Both of these people have already taken money from my wallet. Midnight winning. Oh, they're actually even in winnings. That's right. Peacock taking second got $5. Wait, no. Peacock took second two weeks ago, got $5. <laughs> Midnight took first place and I think got 7 Because... I had the prize pool for the first week so low, and I didn't know PayPal charged you if things were under two. You only, you, it was only five? Oh. That sucks. I'm sorry, I'm poor. <laughs> I wish I could give you guys more money. That's the hope. If you know anybody rich out there, tell them to, tell, tell them to get on these things. You see that sub goal? You can sub to me now. Time for the match. No shilling. Peacock and Midnight. It is great to see that green Kirby again, and I would say it's great to see the edgy cloud skin, but it's not like it ever left. Hey, everybody, I'm back. You can talk if you want to. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> Shy is in the room. So, Midnight Peacock. Sorry about that, everybody. Peacock getting up an entire stock on Midnight here, right, to start out the game. Like I said, it's it's not a surprise. When you see a Kirby. Oh, Our puppy is being very cute right now. It is very adorable. Kirby, the adorable green puffball, who has just ravished people. Peacock, this Kirby has ended careers, lowered self-esteem, changed mains. I'm sure. That was disgusting. And then there was also a lag spike for no reason, but then that up smash was meaty. At midnight look at these throw combos by kirby man if kirby wasn't if kirby got more buffs kirby would be insane very good use of limit there to recover midnight at 93 peacock at 31 midnight just trying to make up this deficit get kirby off the stage somebody please let me know how the stream quality is because on my screen it's buffering weirdly it shouldn't be though bit rate 6000 we got blast internet here midnight at 125 gonna have a heck of a hill to climb here you really uh i was gonna say really gotta try and ko kirby here but also limit is about to run out he used it perfectly there that's an extremely good use of limit being very patient on it the thing that every cloud struggles with the most hold on i have to close my windows because people are a little loud outside it's all right because peacock ended the game early for me anyway one o oh, peacock Closing the windows, chat. It's gonna be even hotter. But I care about the audio quality of my stream. Aren't I a good streamer? Uh, Peacock, your name is so fucking long. <laughs> I was going to say, now now the Midnight Fan Club is going to start rolling in. <laughs> I 
This Kirby is fucking crazy, Midnight. The Peacock is insane. Ooh, Midnight's fans calling for the Crom switch, but... But staying with Cloud. I honestly don't know how much of a difference that would be able to make. I guess the higher airspeed um, and much better combo potential is what he was looking for. It's just versus this, versus this Kirby. It's gonna be hard to get much of anything done. Just gotta have a game plan and stick to it because Peacock is gonna be able to execute. You see, if you can disrupt these throw combos as best as you can, that's pretty much, that's the best hope to be able to do that. It's a meaty F-Tilt there. Cloud's F-Tilt, the animation is so meaty. And I know it does good damage. I forget how much it does. 12, maybe? But I feel like it should do more for how meaty it looks. Maybe have bigger knockback. But then I'm cl I'm complaining about Cloud not being good enough. I'm going to get hung on the internet. <laughs> and... Wow, this just, these Kirby throws. I mean, it's what Kirby has. Peacock knows this character inside and out. I, I mean, hey, if you're a Kirby main in 2020, you're staying a Kirby main for life. I don't think that's changing. Limit Cross Slash 2 finally take that first stock off of Peacock. Wow. Peacock almost immediately responding and is responding with Kirby Down B. Funny Kirby Down B. But not what's not funny are Cloud's chances of recovering against Kirby. Because those are awful. <laughs> and now we get that abomination on screen. And now Kirby's gonna have a blade beam. <laughs> I was hoping to see it the whole time, just because it looks ridiculous. Regardless of gameplay, but now Kirby does have a projectile. <laughs> So, Peacock is more dangerous. That's actually some way that Peacock excels, is using the hats extremely well. No matter uh, who Peacock played two weeks ago, whenever they entered, they used the Kirby hat that they got extremely well. Meaty down air. Tried to go for that up air. It was a good idea, and there's a, there's a good up B. Cloud's get out of jail free card. Now has limit. Just spends it almost completely disintegrates Peacock's shield, but doesn't quite get it. But there we go, dash attack for the kill. Cloud dash attack. And charges and now immediately has another limit. Definitely, ooh, I was going to say definitely want to get this one off pretty soon and gets 19. All right, 35% advantage for Midnight coming into the last stock here. Cross slash to bump that up to almost 60% doesn't let Kirby get the cap. Very important to not let Kirby get a zoning tool here late in the game. Another cross slash hit, 94%, and now it is the Kirby that can't get back to the stage. As Midnight hits that amazing Cloud F smash, catching Peacock up in it. 1-1. One, one. And now we are going to game... All righty. And Midnight immediately coming out. Got enough confidence back in that cloud. And I believe, unfortunately, we had a DQ in the top eight. Ladies and gentlemen, you hate to see it happen. Uh, but Puzzle drops out, so now Flowers moves on. That was in. That was going to be the other losers round one match. And Peacock immediately... 
taking that stock. And Midnight here. Getting that up. Be trying to climb this comeback back and Peacock trying to go for the Kirby cheese. Have not seen Peacock do that too much, but has played a really honest Kirby. Went for now the rapid jab. I'm pretty sure that hit 50 times, it did like 7%. And that is extremely rough for a Cloud. Using platforms in town and city against Cloud. F smash there is huge, but down a full stock. It's not like it's something that can't be made up. Cloud's insane damage output, midnight as a player, both things that could pop off here. But another throw conversion by Peacock. Right now, Peacock can play a very safe game or a very risky game. Goodness gracious. Peacock does not want to finish second again. Wants to finish this run at number one. Kirby up tilt. Is he going to let him land? Midnight landing with the down air. Charges the F smash. Kirby down B sends him up. Now he's going to have to try and recover. Grabs the ledge. Able to back throw Peacock off and then hit that cloud forward air. About to have limit. Definitely not out of the question here for Midnight. Tries to go for that forward air immediately. It's going to be tough to charge the limit here without dying. Right now, was going to say almost has it. But then Peacock sending him off the blast zone. A very good run by Midnight. One of just the elites around here. Going to be bowing out at 7th today. An extremely good showing by him again. Peacock just, just so nasty. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, Big Boss and XTR Flowers. I was gonna say, is that the real Agent 5? <laughs> I'm trying to stop saying all right so much. I know I do say it a lot. Um, so then what this is, now we're in loser's quarters. Flower? Am I an idiot? MK Big Boss always going by Agent 5. Or am I just that much of an idiot? But here we go. Losers, quarters, MK Big Boss, and Flowers. Getting into it here. Rob and Cloud. A matchup that you see a lot. Two of the most played characters uh, on Wi-Fi in general. 
Cloud, uh, just in general, um, he was the most played character online, like, just all of Smash Brothers Ultimate online. Um, whenever the game first came out, I don't know if that has stayed true, probably he, you see him a lot. And then Rob, obviously, a very common character, has an extremely good kit, too good of a kit, some would, uh, argue. And, uh, on Wi-Fi, definitely gets even better. But Flowers here trying to get in on this Rob. A big body that is going to find a lot of Cloud Sword hits. But is Rob going to be able to find more down tilts and more side Bs and more up tilts and more up airs? There was a few of them. And that is going to be... 1-0. I just keep wanting to say Agent 5, so I'm probably just going to say Agent 5 for MK Big Boss, <laughs> since that's the name on the screen. And I'm happy that he's here, MK Big Boss, and an insanely talented Wi-Fi player. Very, very happy that he's here. Very happy for everybody who showed up. You know, a uh, lot, lot, uh, lot of good talent that showed up here. Oh, is it? Because that's his actual name. Because he doesn't have it as his tag. My apologies, but... There we go. Big Boss. Able to get up a 3-1 here. Goodness gracious. And there we go. Flower finally able to take a stop with that back air there. He got up to 186. Goodness, Rob, Rob's a heavy boy. He can live pretty long. That's why it's going to be such a challenging set for anybody to face him. Uh, including Cloudy, with the giant sword able to find Rob a lot. It's really not enough to deal with Rob's kit a lot of times. Tried to go for the typical Rob, wasn't able to quite convert off of it, although Flower at an even 100. Cross slash in the air to be able to put a little bit more damage on him, but up at 138. Jabra on the field. Now has limits. See if he's going to be able to take it. Mm, never mind. Rob says spin. Very good, very competitive first game between these two. See if this is a character switch. See what's going on here. So now is... Oh wait, I'm a freaking idiot. Of course MK is sponsor name. I just thought about that. I'm so sorry to everybody watching. I'm such a freaking idiot. But here we go. The Bayo Switch. Very interesting. <laughs> I wonder if Flowers was a Smash 4 player. Now, don't call me crazy. But he did go Cloud and then Bayo. So, I don't know. Don't, don't mean to be a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> you know, just just don't mean to be completely insane out there, but did he play Cloud and Bayo in Smash 4? <laughs> the Bayo looks to be working much better against this Cloud, because um, a lot of people are misunder uh, misunderstand. They think Bayo is legitimately awful in this game. That is definitely not true. Bayo is not awful in this game. She's just not completely broken like she was in Smash 4. Um, and a lot of her stuff doesn't confirm into kills but she can still tack on damage like nobody's business and which time is still a thing Bayo is definitely not terrible in this game now do i say that because i've gotten rocked by a few Bayos online and eh, maybe but that's only part of it and part of making this big comeback for big boss is coming back from a 
gigantic percent deficit in the first stock, and he already has been able to, and there's a bayonet of bullshit. <laughs> able to recover, was trying to ledge guard very hard, but not able to pull it off. Both of them had such high percentages. This is the only legitimate candidate we've ever had for going to a timeout. And even then, it is still probably not going to happen, especially with that rob it down throw for the kill. Now, how quickly is Flowers going to be able to even up the stock deficit? Rob at 173. So many things could kill him right now. Let's see if Flowers is going to be able to get any one of them off. Big problem with Bayonetta. Just not a lot of kill confirms. She can tack on damage. But do I really? I ain't trying to. Or is that just because I'm an idiot and I can't speak? Flowers is from Mexico too? I'm just gonna assume every good player who enters my tournaments is from Mexico. Okay? Good. <laughs> Besides the ones that I know... I'm gonna assume. I mean, we do live in a society, so that's probably the Joker voice just rubbed off on me so hard because of how much society that we're living in. Speaking of living, flowers ain't anymore. Down two stocks to one. Big boss at the nice percent. That means he's blessed. Uh -oh, I saw Rob down tilt and got afraid. So did Flower, tried to fly into the middle of the stage. Can we talk about how early that killed Nintendo? No discredit at all to, to a big boss, but Nintendo. Uh, you saw what I saw. Flowers, it was a good run. Good for you getting here. But man. Rob. Just Rob. Alright. Next, Peacock and Just the Ice in the uh, other losers' quarters. We're getting close now. Only four more matches left. Yeah, that Rob side beat. Like, what was Bayo even at? Like, 30? Maybe not even, legitimately? Like, that was, that was ridiculous. But yeah, just the ice and peacock. Gonna be going on here now. So, reminder of what we have right now. We have OG Mustaine, last week's champion, waiting in grands. Waiting in losers finals is Alex95. And then losers semis is going to be Big Boss versus whoever wins this game between just the ice and Peacock. We got some Peacock fans in chat, all right. Ugh. Um, hold on, I will fix that in a second. Peacock and no, hold on. Why don't they prefix? Yes. Oh yeah, that's why I adjust the ice. I can't fit your uh, can't fit your prefix. Sorry about that. I was gonna say Peacock's name just goes clear off the thing. There we go. Peacock and Just the Ice. Two of my favorites to watch, just because they play mid-tiers that you don't see too often. Zelda and, uh, Zelda and Kirby. Okay. 
ice stepping into the ring. And now is Peacock. Here we go. Loser's quarters. Winner moves on to fight Big Boss in Loser's Semis. Just like Zelda was able to put in some work throughout this entire tournament, but fell to Alex95 in winner's semis. Now here trying to make it to loser's semis, but going to have a giant brick wall to go through in terms of Peacock. You saw that, Kirby. Ooh, that was a very odd trait. Now, I was trying to keep Peacock from getting back to the stage fully. Doing a masterful job so far. Peacock finally able to get it with the Kirby up B. But Ice now waiting it out. Uh-oh, that was a mistake. Peacock was only able to get two down tilts off of it, though. So, And part of a down air. Almost precision sniping there by Ice, but not quite able to get it. Going off stage now. Oh, trying to go for a little bit of cheese and get the Zelda recovery kill while off stage. Not easy, risky, gotta have a big old sack to do that. And I certainly did right there, laid it all on the line. Oh, Zelda has a decent kit. You gotta know how to use it. Ice, one of the better ones out there at using it. Peacock, one of the damn best at using Kirby. Whenever you run into these lesser seen characters like this in Bracket, it can definitely mess with uh, with bigger top players who are used to seeing the uh, <coughs> used to seeing. Oh my! And some disrespect there from Peacock. I'm getting the funny Kirby kill, but the conversion there by just the ice. And now, sitting here, completely even, well, before this throw combo it was even. Now Ice trying to climb back, make up that percent deficit. Hitting that down air, into the rapid jab needs to keep ice off the stage ice's stage control is nuts with that knight oh my peacock there with the off stage play very nice oh what's up monty very very nice to see you long time viewer one of the one of the longest time viewers we've ever had Peacock takes game one. I'm happy that I actually get to call these matches this time. Last time Peacock was here and made it to grand finals was when my stream died, so wasn't able to do it. But this time, now I am. Very, very nice. We'll see if Peacock can close out moving on to winner's semis now. Already. St damn, Ice just starting the game off with 40% pretty much. Right from the get-go. Oh, it's, it's so difficult. And now with the hat, see how much use Peacock is going to be able to make of that. Why are, there's definitely more coast-looking Kobe hats than non-coast-looking Kobe hats, right? Like, I'm not just imagining that. That's a fact. That's an observable fact of the universe. Okay. Glad we all agree. There we go. Ice able to get that understage poke but then peacock with a forward air just not letting ice really get in control the stage do what he wants and that's what makes the best player not letting your opponent do what they want you can get inside your opponent's head that is so much of the matchup and i think peacock already does at the character select screen by playing kobe 
because everybody sees a Kirby and then starts laughing, and then he starts pushing your cheeks in, and you have no idea what to do. Because at least with Wi-Fi Zelda, people know to fear Wi-Fi Zelda. Because of shit like that. <coughs> I promise it's not Will now, everybody. Just normal fat gamer who can't breathe. Not pandemic fat gamer who can't breathe. Speaking of not being able to breathe, Peacock is not letting Just the Ice do much of that. Just the Ice now potentially on the last tournament stock here. And if you keep getting juggled by Kirby Aerials, then it is going to be your last tournament stock. <laughs> A lot of Zelda neutral be going on. Hitting that punishing down air, but squarely in the middle of the stage. Just the Ice was able to use that Zelda recovery very nicely offensively. Whew. There's a nice poke from under the stage to take Peacock out. Up at 107, but we'll see. Peacock able to control the stage here. Once again, knocks just the ice off. Did not letting just the ice breathe. Finally, I was able to get a hit in, but takes gets all of four percent in on peacock and that's going to be a dead zelda and peacock is going to be moving on to loser semis and peacock stay <coughs> since uh you're playing big boss next There's loser semis. I know, right, Kobe? <laughs> I'm gonna assume you're one of Peacock's friends. Peacock's Kirby is so nasty. Just, just insane. All right. And there's Big Boss. <coughs> Wasting absolutely zero seconds. That is the fastest I've ever seen anybody get into one of these lobbies. Whew. And let's see here. I think, are they actually going through the tasks before? Not looking like it. Oh no, they are. They're doing the task. But just because last game they didn't do the tasks. Not just Lace and Peacock. Uh, Big Boss and Flowers, they didn't do the tasks till after the game. It doesn't matter. But I was just curious. Hopefully everybody's enjoying the stream. I'm trying to make the stream quality go up um, every week. Obviously I have to learn how to be a better streamer. Part of that is going to be doing a lot of streams in between the Smash tournaments, which I want to do anyway, especially now that I'm affiliate. Because I don't just want to stream Smash, I want to be a variety streamer. So, I need to get more consistent on that. That's, that's just on me. But I definitely will start streaming non-Smash things pretty soon. <coughs> Hopefully later this week, I have a bunch of ideas for what I want to stream, but none of that matters right now. Big Boss Peacock. The right to move in to Losers Finals against Alex95. Thrilling, thrilling stuff here. Got two characters at the opposite end of the spectrum. Kirby is a character that everybody loves because of Kirby. Rob is a character that gets a lot of heat online. 
So an interesting dynamic there. I don't know what how people actually feel about Kobe's move set as a functional character in this game, but everybody loves Kobe as a character. Because come on, the adorable pink puffball. My whole aesthetic is Kobe. So. And Peacock, sorry for that just obese person breathtaking goodness. Peacock is trying to make this tournament their own. Trying to make this the Kobe zone. Move on into losers finals for the second time. So far, Peacock, two ent entries. First one came in second. Well, it was the second uh, weekly, but... Their first came in second place. Guaranteed top four here. But want to push it further. Want to push it up to that that very valuable prize money of $10 or $5. <coughs> Peacock has already been made $5 richer by me. Would sure like 10 more. gonna be hard to do now rob at 92 obviously a dangerous percent really not as high as it seems with how heavy rob is though but peacock showing us able to get so many kobe kill confirms off of throws off of normals just just an extremely solid kobe player knows the matchups knows what to do not getting distracted by the gyro over there. <coughs> Sorry, everybody. Jeez. Bad pickle in my throat. Not Corona, I swear. Incredible movement. By both players here. Peacock especially. Uh, trying to avoid that... Uh, <laughs> it's trying to avoid the freaking Kobe sound. My boy Dante Link X. Every time uh, Kobe gets the... The Raw Blazer, he says that Kobe gets the VR headset, so I'm gonna... I'm always gonna call it that. Thank you, Dante. VR headset is gone, as is Kobe. On, oh my goodness, everybody. Did you see those Rob things that were happening? I don't know how many Gyro confirms that was, but that was a lot. I just keep calling it a Gyro. It's definitely not called that. It's Gyroid, I think? People top... It's a top. <laughs> Mayor into up air doesn't kill. Not quite yet. Peacock still has a fighting chance here. Becoming an ever steeper mountain to climb. Oh, I'm sure everybody got... Oh my god. I was going to say I'm sure everybody got panicked when the side be happened. But then that one didn't kill. And then that one hit and still didn't kill. Peacock alive really late here for a Kobe. Life out here is dangerous for a Kobe at 134%. Just going for it. You have to love it. Uh, you gotta, you gotta love the moxie there, though. How far off stage you're going at 130%. Gotta love the risky play. Game one, going to Big Boss. See where they're going to go for game two. And yeah, you're not going to be seeing character switches, I, I really don't think. I know 100% certainty Peacock would never, ever switch off of Kobe. Um... Actually, no, I think Peacock played someone besides Kobe in uh, pools the first time. They're going to FD. But yeah, at this level, no way. And then, uh, I don't believe Big Boss would switch on for up. No reason to. No reason to ever. Literally versus any matchup. <laughs> This matchup, a very interesting one, though. 
the one that Big Boss currently finds himself in, Rob versus Kirby. Probably not one that he sees too often. And as a Rob, everybody sees plenty of you, so it's not exactly like you have any tricks to hide. Peacock getting those punishing down tilt setups in. You're going for it every single time. Using the upbeat incredibly well offensively. And look at catching with the F smash. Peacock does not want to go home, anybody. Did not come all this way for nothing. Up. T Oof, my goodness. Almost gotten caught into some things. There's Kirby Aerials. Once again, using that upbeat. Oh, and there's an up smash. That one. Ooh, you feel that one deep down, that Rob up smash. You know, it just, it hits you twice. It burns. It just, you know, if you get hit by it, you don't feel good afterwards. And not even from a normal gameplay perspective of not feeling good. Just visually, it looks punishing. And there's Rob. Down throw, up tilt, up air. Simple science, everybody. Didn't quite kill, though. Oh, Peacock in that cluck one, cluck, clutch 1% in here. Goodness, really wish that I could speak English. Side B doesn't quite kill. Gets the laser snipe, but weakest laser possible. So, not quite on it. Trying to use the top and the laser very well. I mean, putting a ton of pressure on Peacock. Peacock just weaving through these. Both at very high percents. Peacock finally gone. Took a very long time for that second stock. And now second stock for Big Boss also gone. Peacock possibly on his last tournament stock here. Does not want that to be the case. Getting two straight Kirby down throws. Now getting the forwarders. Going for the big side. B oh my goodness! That hit. Somebody in the chat, please clip that. I have never said that. Please. Oh my goodness. Catch. Catching. Catching somebody landing. With like, with max charge flame hammer. That's nuts. That was absolutely nuts. Can we get a freaking... Can we get some pogs? Can we get anybody to say anything for that? That does... That game does not belong on a... F on a five-viewer stream. Oh my goodness. Not in the slightest. Game three here. Winner moves on to losers finals. Best of five land on the horizon. Very happy to see the Moray Towers Battlefield pick. Love this stage. Peacock doing the Peacock things, because that's the thing. With Peacock, you can't even say they're doing Kobe things, because there's not too much established Kobe things or silliness that goes on. Those are hashtag just Peacock things. <laughs> Those Kobe tilts. Well, can we can we bring back Smash 64 Kobe uh, up tilt and just be absolutely completely broken and be the best character in the game based off of that one move alone? Punishing up smash by Rob. Like I said, that move just, ugh, it looks hurtful. And it is hurtful. <laughs> it's disrespectful. That upbeat, once again, Peacock has the spacing on that Kirby upbeat just so perfectly. Able to use it as a get out of jail free card, using it offensively for recovery as a projectile. Makes extremely good use of the tools around him. But right now, 
Big Boss making better use of the tools around him, just absolutely not letting Peacock breathe. Not getting back onto the stage. Down throw, and oh my, and now it's looking really rough. Big Boss with only 96% on his first stock, Peacock on their last. At least got a funny Kirby spike. I was saying that hopefully, but then fell out. I mean, hit three different offstage down airs. Damn near anybody but Rob, that's killing. So. Gotta be... Gotta hang your hat on that, I guess. You hit three offstage down airs. And now there comes some Rob things. This is the big laser. Taking the top from Rob. Trying anything that they could really do to get any sort of thing going on here is Peacock. Really just want to get that stock out of the way. Don't want to get three stocked ever, of course. For one to 66 for Rob. Dodges another max laser. Very important. It's weird to say that Peacock has not played this match bad, even though they are down three stocks to one. It's more so just Big Boss has played so well. And that side B. Honestly, I just I got worried it was gonna kill. For, I mean, why not? Kill Bayonet at 30. Pretty sure that could kill Jigglypuff at zero off stage. Catching him with that up B. Trying to get him up to 200%, I guess. Let's see if he'll get there. And yep. Finally. A kill. There we go. I'm sure Peacock's happy. No, no three stock today. No JV3 either. That's how the match ends. Just such a huge lead though for Big Boss. But moving on now, Peacock, an absolutely outstanding effort. Once again, from a freaking Kirby, you come out here, you push some cheeks in. You take it to people who never thought that Kobe could even exist in this capacity. Thank you, Peacock. Very, very good outing again. Second place your first time out, fourth place this time, and I mean the talent that's ahead of you. It's, uh, definitely do not sell yourself short. Now we are on best of five the rest of the way through. By the rest of the way through, I mean the two matches that are left. Hmm. Hold on, I will fix that spacing issue in a moment. There we go. Losers Finals. Two more matches left. OG Mustaine awaiting the winner. Will he have to conquer yet another Wi-Fi Rob? Or is he going to be looking at a rematch against Alex95? And on, you know Mustaine knows that Alex95 played insanely well in their winner's final set earlier. That was extremely cool. That's it. That's what I'm saying, Midnight. Anytime somebody good joins, I'm just going to assume they're from Mexico. Mexico reps hard in my tourneys. The only, cause, well, cause you won the first one. The second one was won by Goober, but then 
Mustaine won last week, and then this week it's it has to be another person from Mexico. Y'all bring the talent. Didn't you say that you know Spogo before? Because that's kind of crazy. But yeah, you like everybody from your friend group who shows up is just always so good. Makes for great viewing. <laughs> Five of the top eight are Mexican. Yeah. The top three, you and Flowers. That's... It, that's insane. Got the talent. So, Peacock's from Canada. Oh, no, not Canada. California. I just saw CA. But I like, yeah, the top eight. Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. North Carolina, Mexico, California. Um, Washington, D.C., Mexico. <laughs> We're going to be going to PS2. And yes, Mustaine, that is that is midnight. Waiting on Alex ninety five to get in the ring. There we go. Change the Terry skin. Now now that shit's serious. I think so. Oh, that's right, didn't... The, no, this is his tear skin, because that's right earlier I only played Ken. Let's see how all over this Rob he is going to attempt to get. And hopefully I can be all over the control stick of my damn pro controller so the screen stops going dark. This is another matchup that Rob's big body becomes a problem, because... Just getting wrapped up in so much of Terry's hits, it means that you're going to fall out of less of Terry's hits. And right now, as you can see, going very roughly for Big Boss. That power dunk there off the side. And now another power dunk. Power dunk has been the move of this entire tournament so far. It has taken more stocks than anything else. Not even close. And there's another that's not going to kill, but this pressure that he's able to set up here just keeps getting the jab confirm into, into um, power dunk. Oh my. Out of water. I'm going to take a break before grand finals. Just go get water. Go sauce. Is he going to be able to use it? Uh-oh. Bad news there for Big Boss. Lives. You gotta kill him now. Shield's power guys are perfectly... Oh, my. Tried to guess there. Guessed wrong. Alex95 was able to get out of it. Another power dunk. 149 and 143. Oh, Upbeat is going to kill, and now Alex95 already up 3 to 1. Now, there we go. Finally a stock there for Big Boss. We're starting to get the Rob stuff in, but Alex interrupted him with the top. Once again, using the top well. If you can use the top against Rob, it, it just disrupts so much of his game plan. Because not only are you getting an additional offensive tool now, that's really not even the important part. The important part is that Rob now doesn't have it. It's just like playing casual Smash. Oh my, there is nothing casual about that, though. I was gonna say, it's like playing casual Smash against a Zelda. 
And with Smash Ball on, you gotta get it not because it's good for you, but because it's bad for her. With Rob's top, you gotta take his top not necessarily because it's good for you, but because it's bad for him. And that has been one of the big reasons why Alex95 has been able to stay in the lead here throughout the entire match. Is getting challenged on this last stock a bit. Big Boss able to make it up. Look at the spacing now. Is getting the setups that he wants as Rob. You hate to see it. Who gets landed on by Power Dunk? One, uh, nope, one to the wrong side. We're immediately hopping back in. That's what you love to see. That is what you love to see. Maybe not want to stop. May Repu, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. You're awesome. Thanks for joining us here. Alex95, MK, Big Boss. Alex95 took a completely uh, commanding lead in that game. Aw, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. Twitch Unity. Absolutely. Support small streamers, everybody. Now, seeing if he can keep Big Boss off of the stage. No. Tries to knock Alex95 off. That's going to be punishing, but now we've got the ghost sauce here. Very dangerous place to be, Big Boss. You never want to be here. Interrupts Buster Wolf, or EX Buster Wolf specifically. That's what you want to do. And he waited for his opportunity and struck. He did miss it once. But now he's got it. And the... Big thing here. Oof. Not going to be able to challenge it if you were dead as hell. Big Boss good on that spike. Started to carry him across the screen. Able to break up the combos, Alex. Power dunk. That Terry down tilt, just the way it pops up, you legitimately are playing Street Fighter at that point. I know, no, fuck that Street Fighter. Final Fight, King of Fighters, whatever you, whatever of the 3,000 games Terry's been in that you want to say. <laughs> and there's the down tilt yet again. Sending into Power Dunk. Hey, at least Terry's not like Ken and Ryu. His jab isn't his best move, but his jab is still damn good. Their best moves are jab one, and their worst moves are jab three. There is a conversion that Big Boss has been looking for a lot more of. That Rob up tilt and up air is such a key part of playing Rob. Saw there. A big part of the reason why Alex wasn't able to recover there was the fear of that spike. Even though he didn't hit it, it did its job well enough. But now a 92% deficit here for Big Boss. I'm gonna try and get that back. Alex now with the top hits it. Ooh, that. Don't. Yeah, no, that wouldn't have killed, but surely wouldn't have been good. This'll kill, though. Alex 95. Taken game to one game away from the winner's finals rematch. And you know that's what he wants. Played an insanely close set. They're ridiculously competitive.
and you know definitely wants to come back from it definitely wants another shot i forgot i was out of water damn it <sighs> said after this i'm gonna gonna go to the water real quick before it grants considering grants can be up to 10 matches want to make sure i have enough to keep me hydrated throughout here we go thank you <laughs> Girlfriend died it for me a while ago. Alex95 trying to secure his trip to Grand Finals here on FD. But, Big Boss, not one to go home that easy. Has a very good repertoire. I do not know Spanish, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even though my entire chat is in Spanish. <laughs> and there's first offstage power dunk of the game. Count him up in chat. See how high we can get. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. And two straight round down throws. There we go. Until he eventually gets the conversion off the top. Such a key component there if he wants to push this to a game four. Got to get rid of him before the ghost sauce activates. Or when it does, you gotta kill him before you can use it. Because the problem is Terry players are gonna be impatient about the ghost sauce, just like Cloud players, and they're gonna want to use it immediately. But the problem is you can use it as much as you want, and they're so good. Oh, you're a friend of Alex? Nice. Maybe that encouragement is what got him that stock. I asked him to play last week because he signed up for my tournament the past two weeks and then DQ'd. And I was like, hey, do you want to actually play this time? And he was like, oh, sure. And look at that. <laughs> and there is a stock for Big Boss. I'm trying to push this to a game four. You definitely do not want to get 3 0'd in losers finals after coming all the way here so trying to come back but terry maybe more than anybody two stocks to one doesn't mean a whole lot if he gets that go sauce really depends with terry extra credit on stock works differently because pretty much he's working on his extra credit now how much damage can he put on rob before the go sauce because if you're playing as terry your stock doesn't start till 100 percent let's be completely honest he has it Ooh, recovers. And that's gonna be one. Oh, no. What am I thinking? It's not that ridiculous. Uh, goes off stage, though. Not getting any more passive. If anything, becoming far more aggressive. And that's what you're gonna have to do if you are at a deficit like this. This is what you have to play like. If you wanna make it up and you wanna win. That actually saved him there, and he's dead anyway. No, he's not? Oh my goodness, there we go. I was going to say, chances of recovering on that are extremely low. But hey, tried it. Now 2-1. to one. Pushing into game 4. Very, very good. I'm opening up my windows again. Hopefully the people that were loud outside aren't loud anymore. Sorry, chat. Literally can't do this. I'm going to pass out for heat exhaustion. Oh my goodness, that breeze is amazing. Top five best feelings I've ever had in my entire life. Alex95 switching the Ken here for game four. We'll see, maybe gonna be a worthwhile decision we know his ken is warm considering the performance that it already had against mustaine and want to give this rob a different look now that he got used enough to, to the terry to beat him and that's why being able to have multiple of the command input characters is so deadly because even though they both have that it's not like if you You've played against a bunch of Kens, you know how to handle the Terry matchup, or vice versa. They're completely different characters. Their only commonalities are that they're both going to wreck your ass if they jab lock you. I 
I am shocked he was able to recover to the stage there. <laughs> Honestly. There's down tilt <laughs> combo into the short you can beautiful stuff there. Those are the types of things that you just love to see. These can combos, man, they're insane. I have a feeling that Alex might have stood up and cheered whenever the Ken buffs happened, however long ago it was. Especially after seeing his performance <laughs> with Ken. Considering he plays Ken and Terry. Big Boss not able, I mean, uh, not letting me just jerk off Alex the entire way, because able to take that stock. Definitely still here, it's just his big body versus these hits is really tough. Like I said, you're not going to fall out of the hits like some characters might. Uh, really punishing. Good news is you're going to live through a lot, but the launch distance on these is just so high. It's tough. Now, Big Boss possibly on his last tournament stop. This Ken switch working out phenomenally for Alex. And it's going to roll well because this is most likely the character he's going to use going into grands. So getting it fully warmed up. Fully heated. Definitely a good idea. The way he's able to just convert damage. It's just so worrying as an opponent that you know you could go from, for instance, 60 to 111 uh, before you can blink your eyes. And if you were almost any other character, that would have killed. I was going to say, is that is that just it? There's no way that's just it, right? <laughs> Offstage can play! Offstage can play! <laughs> Let's get it! Wow. Alex95, you have the biggest set of nuts I've ever seen. Oh my. Alex95 working it back into grands. But Big Boss, absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. A completely great performance. Definitely can hang your head on that performance, Big Boss. Really good run through tournament. And now, Grand Finals. Let's get everything set up here. Now, the set that these two gave us in Winners Finals earlier was already awesome. So, very much looking forward to the second set. Okay, losers final grands. OG Mustang and Alex95. In case if you need a reminder, in winner's finals, these two went up against each other, pushed it to game five. Alex95 took game one, Mustang took game two, then, then Alex95 took game three, but Mustang was able to make the run back, taking four and five. Both players have checked in. And now we wait for Mustang to get here, get through the tasks, and then we are on to Grand Finals. This still ended later than I wanted it to. We're getting there. Because the thing was, we even had fewer entrants this week. We were down to 55. 
But honestly, the, the number of entrants isn't what I'm concerned about. It's the quality of players. And, like, the quality this week was insane. Out of those 55 players, like, t I recognize 22 by name. Yeah, it was, it was a really good breakdown. There is the man of the hour. The man trying to rob me of $10 for the second week in a row. Oh yeah, I need, uh, Alex needs the L. Sorry, Alex, gotta give you the L. I hope you understand. You know how it is. Ooh! We do see the Wii U come out. Very interesting. Let's see what he's got. I forgot to refill my water. Damn it, it's okay. We're rolling in. OG Mustang. You gotta love it. Uses the default Terry skin. Alex uses only all the edgy skins for the command input characters. Of course it's a Mexican match. I think you missed the, uh, the boat, but uh, every match has been a Mexican match. Five of the top eight were from Mexico. My tournaments always have a very high amount of uh, Mexican players who show up. It started because of Midnight, week one, and then after that, uh, he's brought along people like Mustaine, Alex95. I don't know if he brought them directly, but... Mustaine up to 150 here on Terry. Able to catch Ryu falling a couple times there. Oh my, held shield for just a little too long to be able to punish him off of that. Gotta kill him immediately here. That's troubling. 42% immediately. There's the kill that he needed. And that 42% now is the deficit for Alex, but nothing that Ryu can't make up in a matter of seconds. As we have already seen him do earlier this match. Oh! Getting down there. Both of... Alex95 has shown me that both Ryu and Ken's recovery is not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably just bad. Scratch that. I know I'm bad. It's able to send Mustaine off the stage, trying to maintain stage control. Very important for both of these characters. That power dunk! Oh my. I feel like that shouldn't have killed. What was the DI on that? That was odd, but now Alex down to his last stock here in game one. Able to get a nice conversion there. Really needs to kill Mustaine right now if he wants any chance in this match before the ghost sauce becomes active. He's got to be able to get in first. And just not being able to do that. Terry's back air into up B. Oh. <sighs> and we can't tech those. First match goes to Mustaine. I think after waiting around for the, like, seven hours that he had to between Winners Finals and Grand Finals, he was like, I want this fucking $10. Not waiting. Uh, do we see the Ken switch? Or do we see the Terry switch? Let's see. Terry switch. Terry ditto. I love dittos in Grand Finals. <laughs> Here we go. The hype. Hey! And on a Street Fighter stage. How, how perfect. I mean, not perfect because, obviously, <laughs> now the Street Fighter character's gone, but you know what I mean. First opportunity to see Alex's Terry of the day. Gonna be interesting. I believe he played Terry earlier in bracket, so he, he has definitely been playing Terry today. <laughs> You're gonna see so much power dunking. Oh my, that is crippling for Alex. First stock, not getting to use the Ghost Sauce at all, and Mustaine is only at 55%. He did say that in Terry's, Mustaine straight up is better. He hits a power dunk of his own, but unfortunately, 100.1. You hate to see that tech sit. Good stuff there. There's the Buster Wolf. Evens it up. 
That was extremely good, though, to not fall to under pressure, especially once the Ghost Sauce became active, because he knows better than most from playing as Terry that, uh, how dangerous that is. You just see both of them fighting for the same conversions. <laughs> Now you can you can see the difference in the play. Mustaine using the that dash attack and using the grabs uh, more than Alex95 does. Both playing a character at a very high level, but still differently. That's the beauty of Smash Brothers. Is that that can happen. Power dunk now Alex. It's so weird that in a in a Terry Ditto, whoever's losing is winning, you know? Like as long as you're not down a stock. If you're if you have ghost sauce and your opponent doesn't, percents don't matter. You're in the lead because you could kill whenever, or you could kill if you're not. I have the ghost sauce. To be fair, was at 140. Mustang now almost up to having it. Now as Alex have to kill him right here. Gonna be very dangerous. Oh, miss input there. That's tough. Parries it! Oh my, a lot of misinput here by everybody. Buster Wolf gets him off 50% deficit going into the final round. They really should have died a couple of times because of Mustang, but uh, wasn't able to. What a freaking exchange there at center stage. I was already so sweaty, guys. I really can't handle too much more. Oh, the sign's broken. Now we're fucked. Now all bets are off. You don't know what's going to happen. Now it's 95 down by... Only well, now about 16% here. Able to almost even that up. OG with the go sauce. And that's going to be a dead Alex. It was always going to be who with the go sauce gets the first jab. Very unfortunately for Alex, an extremely closely played set but it's not reflecting down 2-0 versus OG and now OG Mustaine one game away from his second straight first place finish and $10 prize bonus are we possibly seeing the Ken switch might as well break out all three you know why not might as well break out all three there we go yeah see complete the trifecta the thing is, he, he played very well, and he knows that. It's just, he has played Mustaine enough to know. He's playing extremely well right now. OG's just playing a bit better. And, you know, that's that's how it is. It's it, it's going to help both of them grow as players. Now, it's, the, unfortunately, they do know each other very well and have played each other a bunch. Usually in these tournaments, I really like whenever people who have never played um, are able to play against each other, people that you would never have an opportunity versus before but this is how it measured up showing that these two people from the same region uh are very good because they ran the rest of the competition and alex 95 is trying to prolong this competition i'm gonna do it there hitting terry in the air mid buster wolf to send him packing home early Missing the go sauce now is Ken, but the rest of Ken's kit, C, going to be able to make up for it. Right now, things are looking tough, but getting nice conversion there to get up to 60%. Going, oh my lord. Ladies and gentlemen, that is rare bravery. He went far off stage for that Ken up B. And then for Mustang to not tech it, that is somebody showing that they're down 2-0 in the first set of grands and they don't care. Uh, went for far too much. They're getting a little too crazy. But you can get as crazy as you want if you have that in your pocket. Alex95 not going to go down without a bite you love to see it 
The only thing there now is Alex95 is probably going to be kicking himself for not going with Ken to begin with and going with Ryu to begin with. Even if it wouldn't have necessarily changed the, the outcome, obviously, you're thinking about that. Now, is Mustang going to switch to Ken or Ryu? I mean, it would most likely be Ken. Nope. No switch. Okay. Yes, sir. Mustaine doesn't have a reason to switch. Alex has skill with all three of them. Alex, now, if he can take this game, pushes it to a game five. And, of course, game five, that's when all bets are off. If he can win, then it is an entirely new ball game for him. Oh, you hate to see it happen down almost immediately catches him twice but not able to kill uh, now he's gonna be very apprehensive about going off stage after losing that first stock that's just extremely unfortunate for that to happen after being on fire Ooh, Mustang not able to get the conversion there that's a dead OG finally for him as Alex you gotta treat it like you are in lead the whole time up until Terry is 100% then I don't know what you do besides panic because that's what I do able to get some decent damage in that look at, he knows he knows how to work those hitboxes oh that power dunk not gonna kill I wonder if either of these players come from a traditional fighting game background and that's why they choose these characters it's interesting now Alex is on his last tournament stock now after Mustaine sends him off there. Oh, mid-air buster will 44% on his last stock, 72 on the edge. Has such a high mountain to climb now. Mustaine 55 with two stocks left. Potentially two rounds of go sauce still left. Power dunk sends Alex up to 113. Mustaine up B, not quite going to kill wants to claim this first place for the second week in a row trying to get it with power dunk can't quite get it can't get it with buster wolf either alex not giving up look at that does have full rage with ken on oh, mid-air buster wolf the tried and true the bread and butter the move that terry makes his money on and a phenomenal performance by Alex95. Really, but... OG Mustaine for the second time in a row. Second week in a row taking home the Wild Wonderful Weeklies. Wow. Crazy good performance. Yes, GG's to all around. Alex, congratulations on your second place finish. If you're listening, I don't think you are. Please DM me your PayPal. I will. I'll DM you anyway. Very good showing. Um, you're brave to use all three command input characters. And it, it made for a nice show. So. That was fun. And Mustaine. Taking ten bucks from me. Two weeks in a row. You, you're an insane, Terry. You're just, you're insane. And I'm just going to look for someone to raid. So, 11. Tournament was four hours. It used to be six. We're getting there. Trying to cut down. Uh, on that a bit. Hey, hit 75 followers tonight. Everybody, that's a pog. That's a pretty big pog. Okay. There's nobody, uh, good raid online. So, thank you. Everybody for showing up. I really appreciate it. Uh, please come by next week. If you're a competitor, compete again next week. If you viewed, watch again next week. And congratulations to OG Mustaine. The first ever two-time champion of the Wild Wonderful Weeklies. Have a great night, everybody.